Welcome back, people. So during the week, the EFCC trended because, as reported on its official Twitter page, of course, the organization arrested 89 suspected Yahoo boys in the nightclub in Ibadan. Now, for those who don't know, okay, Yahoo boys are internet frosters. You, know, you won't find that in the dictionary, okay? So thank me already. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. Now, the organization went on to explain that for the late night operation, officers of the commission had carried out series of discrete surveillance on the nature of activities going on in the nightclub, which according to intelligence was notorious for harboring suspected internet fraudsters. Now, if you are looking for justification of this raid, well, here it is. Several laptops, vehicles, um, sophisticated phones, and other items were confiscated during the raid, and the suspects are currently undergoing further investigations. As expected, there were clapbacks. First off, many people wondered why going to the club in Nigeria seemed synonymous with being Yahoo boy, or a Yahoo boy, or a prostitute. We've also seen series like Empire and Power, right? And they show us that really good things can also happen in the club. People order drinks, people dance, maybe even fall in love, right? Exactly. So here's what we can agree on. 89 people is a lot. You get a lot. Now Lola on Twitter says, when owners of nightclubs don't settle the force, they raid under the disguise of wanting to arrest suspects for one thing or the other. Pico no. Why must they raid the nightclubs? Don't the suspects have homes? Or is it only at night when people carry money to flex that you remember to raid? Okay, so remember, yeah, these comments are from social media. They are opinions and comments from people on social media, okay? Yeah. So here are more reactions from social media. of those comments were harsh, right? Yeah, I saw them too, I saw them. Now off to our next story. So last week, we brought you um, the 411 on Operation Amotepun. Now the conclusion was that the Southwest governors have asked the national leader of the APC, Ashwaj Bola Mentenumbu, to take sides, or you know what, at least speak on the matter. Now, this part is the update. Okay, so while the issue of Amoteku is now being analyzed from so many angles, including the Islamization of Amoteku or the politicization of the outfit, being the most prominent of the fears, of course, many individuals, of course, are of course, afraid. Now, it is reported that Ashiwaju says he regretted that while Amoteku is a matter of serious concern, entitled to sober thought, it has been turned into a political talk of war. 
Amoteku should have focused on grassroots local organizations at the state level without a regional command hierarchy. He also went on to say that before going public, the Attorney General should have at least sought a private meeting so that he could have you know, a better factual understanding of Amotekun. The fabric of the Republic has not been put at stake by Amotekun. And most importantly, Tinumbu says that he has initiated communication between the chairman of the Southwest Governors Forum with a view to a meeting or to holding a meeting with the Southwest Governors to come up with amiable or amicable solutions to avoid controversy. Now, while you may call this, you know, very commendable, Let's see how Nigerians reacted to these statements on social media. people will go on another really, really quick break. And when we return, we'll be talking about more trending topics from social media, including Yaba Left. Yeah. So stay tuned.